image paragraph. In this video, we're going to implement the image paragraph. We're going to start with creating the image style. We'll prepare the fields display of the paragraphs again. We'll add the dummy content and we'll notch the markup. So until now, we already implemented the top section and the first paragraph. So what we want to do now is we want to implement the image paragraph. So let's go ahead and check what kind of image dimensions would our image expect to be in. So if we go here to background 2, we see that it is supposed to be 1440 times 800. So let's jump to our Drupal instance and go to configuration. And let's go to image styles and let's add a image style. And let's call it 1440 times 801 it was. So we create the new style and we want to just add scale and crop so that in case we upload a bigger image it would scale and crop to the dimensions that our template expects. We're not sure if those are the optimal but those are the ones that are used in the static version so we just use those for now and the width would crop if it's bigger to 1440 and the height would crop if it's bigger to 801. So we add effect and we update style and the next thing we want to do is we want to go to structure and to paragraph types and for our image with title paragraph type we want to manage display. For the title and for the image we want to remove the labels so we say hidden. For the title plain text is completely fine and image we want just to change the image style we want to add the image style that we just created and update and save. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to our basic page that we're building and we want to edit it and add actually a image with title paragraph. So we add it and for the title we just copy the one that we have here, contact us and for image I have the image actually on my desktop and we upload it. Wonderful. So let's save. Yeah. Random image. And we save. And our paragraph looks like this. It's not actually the output that we want. So as for the previous paragraph, we go ahead and inspect. And as always, we see the paragraph template is coming from the paragraph module and we want to override it with this template name. So we copy it really quickly. And refresh. We'll see that our newly created template is being used. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to the static version. Uh, 
uh, I'm sorry for the image it was supposed to be with this text not with contact us I can edit it really quickly for the image title I mean so we save it and uh, we inspect here in order to see from where the markup of this paragraph is starting so it starts from parallax container so if we go to our static version uh, the parallax container starts from here so let's go ahead just and copy this markup and go to now to our Drupal code base to themes web shop templates and the newly created paragraph template and what we want to do now is we want to override this bit here and we put the wrapper here and we remove this wrapper here and for the image again if we just go to the structure and then paragraph types and the image if we go to manage fields we see the machine names of our fields so for the image we say in order to render it in our template we just get rid of the image tag here and we use the tweak say something content dot machine name and the same for the title let's see what machine name does it have it's view title so here we just say say something content and the machine name of the field and this content here we don't need and that should be good enough if we now save and as always clear the cache and as it's ready just refresh the page oh that's perfect so our newly created paragraph is looking perfect so this is our title and the image that we just uploaded and yeah that's great if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe click thumbs up and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below thanks for watching